To make sure you're caught up on all the newest Neological videos, make sure you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. It's gonna be okay. Look how fast that's overheating. Oh no, there's a wall. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we are going to be checking out three, count them, three awesome mods for Beam NG Drive. Not automation mods, three completely new Beam NG mods. Some of them simple, some of them not. The first one we're going to be trying out today is a mod for the new vehicle, the Pic Piccolo. I still don't know how to say it right. Anyway, this mod allows you to put the V6 engine from the Covette in the back of this thing so we can get a little bit of an upgrade for the little tiny car. Well, it's, it's a Fiat, basically, is what it is. I'm just going to call it a Fiat. Anyway, I want to see how much faster this thing is with a, uh, a V6 in the back instead of like the basically motorcycle engine that was in this thing to begin with and it's already a lot faster this is the stock version of this car only you know it has a v6 engine in it <laughs> which is pretty cool it does heat up a little bit faster i am noticing that we're already overheating but we're almost to the jump at the end that leads straight into the ocean i think so it's gonna be okay look how fast that's overheating oh no there's a wall <laughs> yeah. Uh <laughs> That's not good. Oh, it won't start. Surprisingly, it won't start. Who would have thought <laughs> that crashing into the wall at 120 miles an hour would kill the car? I don't know. Oh wow. Oh, this thing wants to slide now. Oh, it's a drifter. Look at this go. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, no, I lost it. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Go on, spin it around. There we go. I kind of want to do that again. Maybe I should add like a, maybe I should add like a ramp at the end of this jump. Yes, because I feel like we're going to be spending some time at the airport here because I don't know. I, I like to, I like to speed test all the new vehicles in the game. So I think putting a ramp right here. Would be good because it could send us straight into the ocean. So actually, what kind of ramps do we have here? Uh, I know there's some built into the game. We also have the adjustable ramp as well. That's a good choice as well. But you know what? I think the large metal ramp will be good enough. So we're going to spawn this up right here. Hopefully it's facing. Yes, it is facing the right way. So now if we can I switch back to the car. <sighs> anyway, now if we switch back to. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just messing this up. All right, I'll be back in a second. I got to get back to the, the old Fiat here. All right, guys, I'm back. I switched to the uh, street machine just so we could get a better look at this engine here. And it actually fits in there pretty well. It doesn't look too oversized. It's not it's not clipping with anything. I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of surprised. But now we have some uh, nitrous oxide to deal with here so we can really see what this thing can do. We're already over. We're already over 100 miles an hour, folks. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be cool. This is going to be dope. Did I did I deselect the Oh no, I did. <laughs> I deselected the ramp. No. Well, we're going into the wall again at 153 miles an hour. Good god. <laughs> and we're stuck to the fence. Beautiful. Okay, third time's the charm. Can I can I use this game correctly? I've only been playing it since 2013. You would think I would know how to use it by now, but no. No siree, Bob. I don't. I still I still mess it up. All right, so we got to make sure to spawn new, not replace. It's as easy as that, folks. Are we good? We're good. Okay, so now, now we can hit the ramp and hopefully fly into the ocean oh this thing's really really slidey okay get control there we go i got it i got it i want to hit this thing in 150 miles an hour please if i can actually control it the nos turned off what the heck or did it i can't actually tell okay can we please hit this oh this is gonna be difficult i think i can do it though yes perfect whoa my tires <laughs> Come on. Hey, we still made it. We still made it into the ocean. Oh, wow. A little bit flatter than before, but 
besides that, we're pretty much okay. We bent the ramp. Is this thing a little bit too low to the ground? You know what? Okay, I can fix that. I can fix that because we just so happen to have a off-road version of this car. We have the Doom Buggy, the Baja, yeah, whatever you want to call it. So we can just spawn this up and uh, replace the engine here, and it should be easy. If you guys want to know how to do this, it's not an actual variant of the car. You have to actually go into the vehicle configurator and go down to the engine here. There we go. And select the 2.7 liter V6 engine from the good old Covet. How's this one going to look in the back there? Oh, yeah. Doesn't look too bad on it. It actually looks a little bit smaller than the engine that was originally in here. I don't know about all that, but I think, I think this one should be able to actually go over the ramp without scraping it, hopefully, because I feel like we should be able to go into the, into the ocean. This one's definitely not as fast. That's for sure. But I still think that we can do it. Why is it wanting to go all over the place? I don't know. Too much, too much downforce or something. Anyway, can we go a little bit faster than this, buddy? 110. I guess we're topping out at 110. We might land it. <laughs> can we still make it to the ocean? Yes. Keep on rolling, buddy. There we go. Not the, I mean, I wanted to kind of go over the little peninsula here, but... You know, we still made it in, so I'm happy. Is that a tire just floating above me ominously? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, car, a little bit beat up, but besides that, it's, it's, it's okay. It's fine. All right, guys, so the next mod we're going to be checking out is a completely custom vehicle, a brand new car. It's called the Raven R60, and I do believe I am going to make a full video on this mod because there's actually a lot of really cool stuff to, with this mod, uh, but for now, we're just going to kind of try out the different uh, models here, so I know the standard one's pretty slow, I drove it before, so I'm actually going to go straight to the race edition. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, when you see this car, you're going to think that is an automation car, it looks exactly like one, no, well, actually, it is not, this is a completely custom car, which actually has something pretty cool that I don't think I've seen in any other vehicle, it has a... Uh, customizable dash <laughs> so if we have if we go up here we can turn on the can turn up the computer up to enable cruise control so if we push that while we're at speed we can actually set cruise control on a vehicle and we can also have a g-force meter while we're driving which is really cool and we got a radio playing armitage by gabester if you don't know he uh makes a lot of the music that you see in the beam and g trailers which i think is Pretty cool, and we can also select that, and we can do different <laughs> cruise control modes. So I'm actually going to leave it in sport, so let's go back up to sport and press Y. There we go, and now we're off. So let's see how fast this thing is. Oh, it's quick, and I think this is an electric race car because it makes no sound whatsoever, which is pretty, pretty wild to say the least. I read it. Yeah, this is totally an electric car. Look at the gauges over there. That is so cool. And we're hitting 123 miles an hour. That's not bad. That's pretty quick. And what's at this ramp? Can we clear the island? No, we're not, but we're getting a little bit closer. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Car just absolutely smashed. No engine in there, buddy. So the, the engines, I guess, would be little tiny, not tiny, but little things in the front of the car. I don't know if this actually has it, but... I think that's how most electric cars work, or sometimes they're in the tires, like an RC car. I don't know, but that's still pretty cool, so let's see what other kinds we have here. I did see a ludicrous mode one, so I'm kind of curious about that. Well, it's called it's called the Insane Edition. I imagine that's uh, pretty true. We also have a road racer, which I believe is also electric. Then we have a regular race, and what's the Rebel? Hardcore off-road? Insane? You know what? I'm just going to go straight to the insane one. I got to see what this thing could do. But yeah, definitely uh, be on the lookout for a full video on this thing because this is pretty freaking cool. What is with the dashboard there? Oh, that looks cool. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Are you ready? I'm a little bit scared. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's quick. That is fast. 120, 130, 140, 150. Yeah. Oh, God, we are moving. 180. Can this thing break 200? It can. 200 miles an hour. We're going to hit this ramp. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Stuff is happening. Uh-oh. It deleted the water. Oh, man. We killed the ocean. No. 
Well, it's kind of, I don't know. Something happened here. Oh, God. Okay, can we try that again? And maybe not break the ramp this time? There we go. Okay, we need to hit this perfectly or else it's going to absolutely mess everything up. I want to fly over the land mass and go straight into the ocean. And this is the car to do it, man. This is incredibly fast. Incredibly fast. All right. Let's try that again. Oh, no. I'm going to have to slow down just to hit this ramp. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Turn, 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 turn. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. So far, so good. Yes! Come on! Oh, it's going to be close. <laughs> we made it. We made it just barely into the water without hitting the ground. That is pretty freaking cool. That's a long jump, too, man. Look at that. That's 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 a football field right there, almost. Would you say? Yeah, that's definitely a football field. And we did it, man. That's awesome. I love this thing. All right, let's try out another version just for the heck of it. Uh, I kind of want to try the rally edition, but we're going to have to we're going to have to leave the the safety of the airport if we actually want to. Why am I selecting this one? Come on, man. I kind of want to try the hardcore off-road version, the Rebel, just because that sounds uh that sounds intense to say the least. Oh man, yeah, th I think this is an electric car. Hold on, let's Yeah. Completely silent, an off-road electric car. All right, let's take it off-road then. I know there's some off-road uh, sections of this map. You just got to find them. This is Italy, by the way. Absolutely, absolute unit of a map for sure. So uh, we might have to go down into the valley to actually find somewhere to test this thing because I do want to take it off-road. I don't want to take it on on-road. That kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Well, you know, we could, we could drive up this... Uh, this riverbank here because it seems to be all dried up so I think we're good yeah so let's try this oh yeah this thing is quick to torque for days I guess that's kind of the thing with electric cars they have just a massive amount of torque Uh oh ow <laughs> pop the tire it's all right though we're gonna be fine this thing is absolutely killing it though on this off-road oh don't oh god oh no oh no oh no we're okay we're okay we're okay just just uh, <laughs> buff out the scratches and keep it going. Here we go. There we go. Nice. I just want to make it to the top. And boom, baby. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. I like that. Oh, now there's an off-road track. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to take it on here. Oh, man. Lag. Let's see what this can do. Now, it's 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 too quiet. It's too quiet. It needs, like, some, some vaporwave music or something, man. Oh, this thing is a masterpiece on the off-road though this is so fun to drive if i don't crash it these tight corners certain death on either side you know what screw it into the forest we go <laughs> it's very bouncy as well and we have impaled ourselves on the tree all right so i think that's it's time uh to check out our last mod today but be on the lookout we are going to make a full video on this car right here because it is how you say awesome all right, guys, so the last mod we're going to check out today is a mod for the Covet, actually. It adds two off-road versions, which are pretty cool. We got the BLI Joe and the Copo Forestale, and uh, these are supposed to be kind of uh, reminiscent of the off-road versions of the new car, the uh, Fiat. So I wanted to check them out just real quick just to kind of see how they uh, handle and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, it's an off-road warrior, baby. Can we turn on the lights? Yes! <laughs> this thing is gorgeous. It's even got the rust and dirt on it as well. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Can we make it through the river? Uh-oh! Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to run into any trees here. Come on. So, not the fastest by a long shot, but uh, this thing has heart for sure. Definitely has heart. Uh oh, we lost a light. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. What would you even use this thing for? Some off-roaders run from the cops, and you have no other option but to go off-road as well? This is what you whip out? I have no idea. Anyway, it's still really cool. So now it's time to take these new creations, of course, to the car jump arena let's do it all right first up we got the piccolina with the v6 engine i think this thing will actually go pretty dang far let's uh engage that 
And see how far this thing can go. Look at that engine, boy. Yes! It's a thing of beauty. And we are already at 140 miles an hour. 150? Oh, we're going to fly, baby. 153. Not bad. Can we break the 300 mark? No! Just barely missed it. Oh, no. And we are rolling, buddy. Oh, man. We are rolling, rolling, rolling. Are we going to make it to the pool? Yes! <laughs> oh, man. I'll be happy if all three can make it to the pool. I don't know about the... Uh, I don't know about the uh, the Covet, but uh, that's one for one, so we're doing pretty good. And I'm pretty sure the next one's going to make it fairly easily, the Raven R60 uh, Insane Edition. We can't do any other. we got to go with the fastest one. That is, if I can actually make it to the bottom of this ramp at full speed without crashing. That could be a problem, but it seems pretty good so far. 140, 150, 160. Can we break? 200. Come on. Yes. It was close, like 197. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh, like 490. Oh, no. <laughs> Physics. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Yeah, this thing is not affected by water whatsoever. I don't know what's going on right there, but it's starting to scare me. Going straight up into the sky. I'm going to go ahead and reset before the game actually breaks. But, you know... Two for two. We made it into the swimming pool. Now it's all up to the Covet. Uh, which one do you think is faster? This one or this one? I, I don't know. I think this one might be a little bit faster. And we didn't try it yet. So don't have a lot of hope for this one. But, you know, it might be able to at least uh, land the jump. So that, that could be cool. What's on top of this thing? What is that? Like a big metal box? I don't know. Anyway, this isn't the fastest car ever. But uh, it has heart and it looks cool. So I think we're going to be A-OK -okay here. As long as we don't do a front flip, that's what I don't want to do. Yes! Uh-oh. We can land this. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. You got this. Yes! And we're good. We're still alive, so we should be able to make it into the pool. Boom, baby. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> and skin on the top as well. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this episode of BMG Drive. I will link all the mods. Uh, used in today's video down below if you want to check them out for yourself and I highly suggest you do these are quality mods uh, But yeah, that's gonna do it. Make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya